Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I am Sam. If you're new, thank you so much for being here. Basically, this video is going to be uh, vlog style. We're going to be doing a lot of plant chores, plant maintenance, propagating, cutting things down like this melanocrysum. Look at her. I'm going to be doing different stuff over the course of probably like a week or so. So it's going to be just a bunch of different stuff all in one vlog. I have a lot of stuff that I really need to get done, but I've been wanting to film it because why not, right? So if this is something you're interested in, then stick around and we're gonna jump right on into this video. First thing I'm gonna do is chop this melanocrysum actually. So stop it, Bendy. My cat's trying to get my microphone cord. No, girl. Okay, so let me try to give you a better view of this plant. You can see this was a cutting with just this leaf and the growth point. The cat got a hold of this leaf here. Look over that. But all of the leaves, this one was a dupe. All the leaves she's putting in, they're really cute, but they're just really teeny tiny. This is the only larger, like normal leaf that she has. She's sitting on that top shelf over there, so she's touching the ceiling at this point. It's just not very cute. Super long and leggy. I'm gonna go ahead and chop her right here at this node throw these nodes here in a prop box. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so I just have this bamboo stake down in here. So I'm gonna take this Velcro tape off. I just can't really see what I'm doing here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna cut right here below this node. Oh, all right, so now we have this little baby starting off like she was whenever I got her, but she is fully rooted now. That leaf, I, th I just think, is so beautiful. Look here, there's actually three different node points below this leaf, so I'm gonna oh, chop that. I'll probably chop these up and put them in a prop bag because that seems to work really well when it comes to these little <laughs> when it comes to these little chunks or node pieces. Um, first of all, this leaf is just look at that. That's not cute, is it? It's like it didn't even fully unfurl all the way. I'm not sure what happened. And then it looks like there's a growth point attempting to come out on this node right here and it just never did do anything so I'm gonna cut it right here this is the top growth point so this is where the new leaf will emerge from so I'm gonna cut right here below this node boom so here's another cutting it's okay now we're left with this you see this big long piece there's just too much spacing there between the nodes I don't know this piece here kind of pointless so let's remove that we've got a node here and then nothing else until we get down here. So move that excess. I think what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna cut this so we have, oh gosh, another single leaf cutting. Okay, so I have a little bit of moss here left over from another plant that I um, put in moss earlier, but I think I'm pretty much gonna put all three of the these little single leaf cuttings into the same little plastic container of moss. I think that should be fine. I don't really see an issue with that. And then I'll probably throw this in a begonia bubble. It's just going to help boost the humidity uh, and keep the moss moist so that they can root down in and start growing hopefully. Okay, now there are all three in there. Now I'm just going to add moss over the nodes. That should be fine. So now let's go ahead and go place these guys in my begonia bubbles. We got to go make some room for this. I know it's really dark and hard to see. We're just going to be here a second but I'm trying to figure out where to put this little cup of Milano. Look at those new anthurium leaf, little update for you. It came in beautifully. I just watered and there's water on the leaf, yay. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty. And then my El Chaco leaf is getting ready to unfurl. Super stoked about that. I think there's more room in here. I just have to be careful because I don't want any of the leaves to get smashed whenever I put the top back on this bubble. But this is like the perfect size to fit there. Okay, yeah, perfect. And we'll do updates and check back in on these little babies as well as the Splendids. I guess we could go look at the Splendids now, actually, if you guys want to. Here's a little update on the Splendids. So that better not be a spider web I just seen. But anyway, here's the top growth that we took in chopping up my Splendid video. There's a growth point coming in right there. It's not gonna focus because the lighting is terrible, but check out those roots. Looks pretty good. This one as well, rooted, and a growth point coming in right there, which we can't see. And then I think this one's rooted as well in the moss, so that is good. So guess what, guys? I have been noticing that this new Mexicanum I got looked not the best. Like, that new leaf looks really rough, and then 
I literally just now noticed one of the leaves was like yellow out of nowhere and I'm like good lord please don't be root rot and I also noticed the soil was still very wet I watered it one time since I got it and um, that's been over a week ago maybe two weeks ago and it's still soaked now this is the soil it's still in the soil and pot the seller sent it to me in I've not messed with it at all and I do notice that the soil is very dense I mean there's a few pieces of you know bark and perlite but honestly it's really heavy and it should not still be this soaked so I decided to pull it out of the pot and sure enough freaking root rot yeah the roots are rotted they they're mushy so now I don't know I guess I try to reroot it I'm gonna take off all the roots put it in moss and see what happens but I'm very disappointed because this was a beautiful plant I was very excited about it and now I'm probably gonna lose multiple leaves due to root rot so here he is absolutely no roots I had to remove every single one of them I mean, I, I don't know. It's easy to be mad at the seller for sending me a plant in a pot with super dense soil, but I'm the one that watered it, but it was dry. Like it was time for water. I watered it and it just never, ever dried out. So I guess I should have kept better check on the roots, but you know, when a plant's shipped to me in a pot, I typically don't mess with it for at least a month or so because it's already in a pot. There's no need to disrupt the roots. The main stem there still seems pretty healthy. The nodes there are fine. So there's nodes there, there, here, and then up here. So I've got plenty of opportunity to save this plant. Like it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be able to reroot it. My biggest concern, I guess, the, the, the thing that I'm upset about is that I'm going to have to lose probably at least two to three more of its beautiful leaves. And I'm just sad about that. The plant's gonna have to restart, you know, and it was already pretty pretty mature as we can see. That's unfortunate. All right, I set him back down on this cute little cash pole. Hopefully he does well. Love you. All right, y'all, look over all the mess, please. I've been doing so much stuff, but here's my squamiferum that I showed you in a previous video. Still haven't figured out what's going on with it, but we have another yellow leaf, so. Based off what just happened with the Mexicanum, I am wondering, is my Squamiferum suffering from root rot as well? So guess what I'm about to do? Pull him out of the pot and take a look and pray that he does not have fucking root rot. Oh, excuse me, because I just don't need this right now. Like all my favorite plants really. I thought it was an underwater. I don't. Even, I haven't even been watering them that much. I don't understand. So help me if this plant has rot. I am going to seriously scream. I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna do something. It's not gonna do me any good though, is it? I mean, I just almost know that it has root rot. Like, look at it, it there, there's no pests. There's no other explanation for it. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I've just been carelessly watering my plants, rotting their roots, what am I doing? Okay, here's the root ball. So far, I mean, I see several healthy roots. But um, we might have a little bit of rot going on. Yeah, I see a mushy root at least, or a couple. I'm gonna take the dirt off, remove what I have to remove, and hopefully the rest of the roots will be okay. I'm not sure. Instead, I've been neglecting my plants, and um, I went on a neglect spree, and then I felt very bad about it, I guess. So I went on a watering spree, and apparently overwatered everybody, which is easy to do from what I've heard. Like if you underwater, for an extended period of time, like you don't water your plant and the roots dry out, then it's very easy to actually overwater the next time you do water because the roots had dried out and then they got water and then they rot, like it's crazy. You have to find the perfect medium when it comes to watering, like you don't wait too long, but you don't water too soon and it's just like this whole thing. So, I mean, I don't know. There's definitely a couple mushy roots here, yeah. Okay, maybe I caught it early enough to where I can save some of the roots, but there's definitely some rot. Yeah, so I guess that's our issue. Figured it out. I should have done this a lot sooner though because I noticed it starting to decline a few weeks ago and I didn't see any pests, so I just put it back. I'm like, eh, maybe it's getting too much light. Well, no, maybe it's suffering from root rot. Yep, see like there, the shell of the root just completely pulls right off. Very unfortunate, but I do think that I can still save a good bit of these roots, but I may end up putting this guy in moss anyway. I would like to get some new healthy roots growing. All of these roots look really old. It doesn't look like it's shot off any new, uh, new roots in a long time, so. All right, here we go. 
I'm making such a mess, but um, let's remove some roots. And then of course, whenever you have to go chopping around on the roots, that dis disrupts the plant and stresses it out, which then causes it to usually lose more leaves. It just sucks all the way around. This leaf is dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. This sucks. Apparently, I just went on a watering spree and rotted a bunch of my plants. Like, I don't know. My squama fern. I've been noticing it for a couple weeks. It was getting yellow leaves, and I just kept looking at it and didn't find any bugs. So I'm like, no. I've just been watering too much, I guess. Well, I went through a period of time where I wasn't watering enough. I was like neglecting them and then I was like, oh shit. And I just watered too much. I loved them too much. All right, guys. So I have a lot of stuff to get done. Like a lot of stuff. This is going to be a plant chores, maintenance type video. This just going to be like a bunch of random stuff. My plant room is an absolute disaster. I've just got a lot of things going on with my plants that I need to really tackle and figure out and fix. I'm going to be moving out my big clear prop box that I have down here. It doesn't have a lid anymore and it's just pointless taking up space. It's taking up this whole bottom shelf down here, which has a grow light on the shelf. So I could really be utilizing that space for something else. I did pick one of, up one of these at the dollar store. This is a much shorter, smaller little clear tote and it actually has a clear lid, which is like impossible for me to find around here for whatever reason. But I think this will be perfect for a little prop box until I can get my hands on a uh, grow tent situation type thing which we're gonna be making room for here pretty soon just need to make some room i need to clean up some stuff okay let me just show you guys what we're working with we got a peppa pig in the floor so i don't know what i'm exactly doing here but i'm just gonna kind of open this space up so we can get in here and work around better my kids went camping with my mom um this past week for a few days my husband and i had our first alone time and like since my daughter Callahan was born actually we had a little date night and then we actually stayed out in the wilderness at my mom's house and like house sit for them while they were camping we got to ride side by side just do lots of fun stuff but anyways I came back and um, yeah I found root rot I discovered two of my Thai constellation leaves yellowed and I'd only been gone a couple of days so that really shouldn't have happened we're gonna remove that Put this to the side. I just have like soil amendments and things setting everywhere. It's actually insane. So as you can see, this tote is taking up this entire shelf down here where I have these grow lights. It's pointless because there's no lid on it to A, to keep the humidity in because I don't have a clear lid for it that fits it. And the things that are in here, it's just like so pointless. Like this begonia, I don't think is ever going to come back. This is some sedum that I don't really think is going to do anything. Has it done anything? Well, I don't know. I don't really think it's done anything. This is a Tribii Moonlight that has died. Um, yeah, just from my neglect solely. I have a little Peperomia Piccolo Banda that doesn't really need to be in here. It's not doing great. I have this piece of Philodendron Brandy, which looks like crap. I don't know. There could be spider mites in here as well. I really don't know. My big, full, beautiful Brandy is in an enclosed little space um, but then I also have this piece of it which I have no idea what to do with I have this little uh, peperomia I uh, can't even remember what it's called right now but shot off this new offshoot here and this one here it's actually doing pretty well despite my neglect I mean this can be moved out it doesn't need to be in here there's no reason to have this box of dead plants chill in here so I'm gonna get rid of this and I don't know clean this up probably gonna put some plants down here I may put that box down here I don't I don't really know I feel like it could just kind of slide in right here and still leave this open I'm just winging it okay so first of all let's go ahead and move this out and go ahead and clean this little area up um, this is just like a complete mess down here I have no idea what's going on I've got these begonias that <laughs> need some attention really really badly I got the leaves everywhere check this out this is my gloriosum Wow, look at that new leaf coming in. I'm really excited about that. This begonia is also gorgeous. I think I want to move some things around over here. I may move this raffidophora out, move it in my bedroom, and move my giant bipinifolium here because it really needs the light more than this raffidophora. So I don't know. Let's just see where this evening takes us. Here's my dark lord and his newest leaf. Pretty cute. All right, let's get to work. I got my paper towels some cleaner and a grocery bag to put the dirty paper towels in that I'm gonna be wiping this up with. So I also need some scissors, BRB. I'm gonna go ahead and 
gonna move these yellow leaves. Here's these guys. Let me just test this and see if it works. That was another problem. This big tote wouldn't fit down here with a lid on it because it was too tall. Um, that's actually perfect. And then I can still set some plants right here beside of it. Actually amazing. Love that. Okay. All right, let's clean the shelf, shall we? types of videos I just feel like the angle is never right like you can never see actually what I'm doing and it bugs me so much because I see other people making all of these tour videos and stuff and they like show up close every single thing they're doing I'm like how do you do that and get anything accomplished I have no idea but basically there was just piles and piles of dead begonia leaves on the shelf I stuck them all up here is one of the, the culprits that is dropping all of the leaves she just gets a little bit neglected. She, yeah, she doesn't look the best. The other begonia that was down there with her that I've moved over there temporarily uh, was the same way. And I don't know, I just don't think they're that happy down there. I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the lights. I'm not sure if I'm underwatering. Well, let's be honest, I know I'm underwatering them, but she looks like crap. So I'm just thinking like, I need to move her. Maybe, I don't know. I just, I don't know. So her, a lot of her new leaves are dried out and crispy and just don't look that good. Ugh, she's a whole mess. Just trying to remove um, all of her dead crispy leaves. And there is a bunch of them. Like, it's kind of crazy. Why are you so mad at me? I mean, I might as well just sweep again because the pieces are just a falling. I don't know, but I'm, I'm moving my begonias. Let me show you the other one. Okay, this is the other one which also had a bunch of crispy leaves. The leaves are just coming in so tiny as well. So I think I'm gonna move these, you guys. Oh my God, because they're just not happy in here. And then that clears up quite a bit of space actually on this shelf over here for other plants. So I'm gonna set these to the side for now. This little babe is gorgeous and she's doing fantastic where she is. So I'm gonna leave her. But then we have this one and ugh. Honestly, you guys, I don't even know. I have another piece of this plant somewhere, um, but this is the mother plant. It is not cute. I'm just kind of over it, to be honest with you. I think I'm just gonna take a cutting here, here, throw it in some water and throw the base of the plant away because it's just taking up space at this point and it seems completely pointless to me. So I'm gonna grab the scissors and snip this off. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this here. There's one little cutting. This was uh, My Special Angel or Medora can't remember snip and I'm sorry if some of you guys get mad at me but I have a hundred of these begonias and their babies around my house so I'm just throwing away the base of the plant my apologies if you're angry with me I apologize it just is what it is I don't need it empty pot it feels so good clearing up the space my little crystals rose quartz I'm actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wipe off this shelf as well these are just some white butterfly syngoniums from my OG white butterfly. Had really bad spider mites and um, the plant looked like crap. It was very leggy, it just looked horrible. So I decided to take all the cuttings that were savageable, throw the plant away and oh wow, there's actually a lot, a lot of roots in there. So that's amazing. Syngoniums are awesome, you guys. We'll be potting these up really, really soon. If we wanna talk about plant neglect, we have this guy which actually just lost a couple bottom leaves. It looked a lot worse than this. I'm not sure what happened. He was setting in the very back right here. Definitely underwatered him, but um, otherwise, see this is where he just lost the leaf. It just fell off on the floor. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what his problem was, but I noticed that he had, all of his bottom leaves were like this, and this just continues spreading up the leaf. I don't know if it's something bacterial, fungal like I have no idea I don't think it is but honestly if you know let me know I'm gonna go ahead and remove these leaves that do have that junk on them because I don't know what it is and I don't want it to spread to any of the other leaves so this is a philodendron moonlight 
You can see he is pushing out a new leaf right here, so that's a good sign. I think he's happy otherwise. Tearing off the sheath. Looks so much better already, doesn't he? Now let's clean off this. I now I need to figure out who I'm gonna be putting in this box. Okay, I just stuck those little begonia cuttings down in here with these syngoniums. I kind of want to use this for like rehabs and things. So if I can, I may put some of these plants that are dealing with root rot down in here. I'm not sure if they are going to fit or not. It may be too big, but I'm so sad about this, you guys. Like, look how sad he looks. Isn't it this? Oh, gosh it's still just super traumatizing that um that he's probably gonna lose all of these leaves and have to start over again whenever i specifically bought a mature plant it's just it's very upsetting to me so anyways let's see will he fit he will but maybe i, I think i'm gonna like tie him up like this that way he's not taking up so much space i guess i'm just gonna use some velcro tape okay so i have this little stick <laughs> it's too small. That is way too small, but it'll at least give it something to support the leaves, maybe. So that's just kind of to pull the leaves together a little bit. I mean, it doesn't help tremendously. See, if I put perlite in the bottom of this, it's going to be taller and I'm not going to be able to fit. Like, I don't know if this guy will fit because it's already kind of pushing it. Let me just try. I don't think I'm going to put any perlite in the bottom of this for now for that reason and we'll see how they do. I'll mist in here occasionally and keep the lid on that way the humidity can be um, as high as possible but I'm not gonna put any perlite in the bottom for now. So here's this guy. I also <laughs> discovered root rot on this cutie patootie little Anthurium clarinervium. It had a new growth point coming in and everything. The soil I had it in was just way too dense and heavy and um, not well draining at all. So I have him down in here, I had to remove most all of his roots and I'm attempting to reroot him. So I'm gonna stick him down in this box as well. Seems like the perfect fit. And like I said, this box is gonna go down here under the scrolli. I have this little Anthurium Vici. This is his newest leaf right here. Look how cute. I love that he's getting leaves with ripples on them with that texture, it's amazing. But I do think that this plant really prefers higher humidity. and especially because it's a seedling it's a little baby so you know it needs it needs more humidity than a mature version of this plant so i wish this was in a plastic pot but it's not i may transfer it eventually but i'm gonna go ahead and stick this down in there as well why is that leaf yellowing i'm really hoping i don't have any other type of pest you guys i'm a little bit suspicious i'll leave it at that but I haven't seen anything, so I don't know. So basically, these little Hoyas aren't doing anything for me. So I think I'm gonna stick them down in there as well. I think they're just too dry, drying out too much, not enough humidity. Zingonium Frosted Heart, you guys, was doing so good. It was doing so good. I just featured it in a video, you know, it was doing great. All good and gravy. And then after I filmed that video, it just started yellowing all of its lower leaves. It's already lost like three since I filmed that video and now there's more. So I pulled it out and looked at it. The roots are fine. They're absolutely fine. There's no pests on it that I can see. I just don't know what is going on. There's water pouring out everywhere. I see like little black. Oh, that is moving. Is that a spider mite? Okay, I think I just found out what's going on. What is that? That does not look like a spider mite, you guys. Oh, please don't be thrips. Shit. We have bigger issues here. I wanna kill it, but I wanna know what it is. It's like black. It's very tiny. It's actually fast. It's pretty fast moving. I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. I need to go kill it before it gets away. What is that? 